Berserker and Vulcan on Renata Callista. Wasn't great last time they played it, but I could, uh, yeah, I can see them running it back. I'm down with it. We got the Ziggs lock in immediately, which is a APA classic. I mean, I'm completely fine with him locking the champions that he's good at. I know other people are like, can he only play Aesol and Ziggs? It's like, bro, at least he can play those two. At least he looks pretty good when he plays those two. So I'm fine with him locking those in. Especially versus a comp like this. I mean, Orianna, I mean, obviously they didn't know it was going to be Orianna, but with Talia out, with Ari out, with Nico out, Ziggs probably going to have a pretty decent matchup in mid. Zyra pick. Dude, the Core JJ Zyra. Holy shit. Reminds me of the old days of Core JJ. 2.5 mid bands is crazy dickity. Bro, don't get it twisted. That is three mid bands. That is not a Fudge Yone that's being banned right there. That is a straight up Jojo Yone. That's a three mid band to, bands of this dome, but like, dude, it just is what it is. Jojo is just better than APA. So like, you ban out their best player and give yourself a chance to win. You put your uh, like your player that I mean, I would I don't think he's the worst player. I mean, like re realistically in terms of performance, I would say umpty has been their worst player. But I think umpty has been really sus. So you put like one of your weaker players on something that he's comfortable on and ban out their best player that's playing into him. I think it's a reasonable way to approach the matchup. Like umpty has been giga criminal a lot of games. It was better than Jojo. I'd like a reminder. I don't think anyone, bro. I know I know. Quid ended up winning MVP. I'll take Jojo over everyone, even if he's not having his best split or anything. Okay, so they're doing that to, like, preemptively try to counter the Zin they think is going to come out. And it's also a flex. I mean, you probably just go Renekton here. I mean, Renekton's not that good here, actually. Maybe you don't go Renekton. Do you go Aatrox? I mean, Aatrox is, like, decent. I mean, it's not a good Renekton game, but I, I mean, I guess they can pick it. They need to flank, bro. I mean, I think TL kind of outdrafted them here. Like, Zyra, Ziggs, Varus. I mean, it looks really unplayable for this first pick Callista right now. Do they counterpick top, or do they let Impact play Jax into um, Renekton? Because he played it before, and he actually did really well in the matchup, so I can see them running it back. It would, it would be fine. I mean, I don't really like the Cassante R5. I don't think it really helps with identity of your team at all and it's also a matchup that renekton just like wins straight up 1v1 so not a huge fan of it i want to see how the mid matchup goes tl has import slot remember that's actually a banger from jojo holy f that's a banger this is the record on it seven and three for apa everything else a combined six and nine so definitely performing so much oh jojo ate that pretty big really can make it work that would have been huge he's very adept at getting to lake oh fudge is dead in those team fights Umpty going top, might be looking for the play here on Fudge, who's trying to play around the brushes, but the Antofo strikes connect, Umpty is there, Impact just punched. That is like the driest first blood of all time. Oh? Damn. Answer, bro. Answer immediately. Okay, we're scrapping. I like the, the vibe of this series so far. Who did you have winning this series? I had a C9-3-1. That's what I had. Import slot. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'll be honest, bro. I don't think the Jax is that good in this game. Like, they're saying give the kill to Jax, but is Jax actually going to be able to do anything in this game? Like, playing Jax into Maokai, Renekton, Orianna, um, Renata, like, it's just... It's a pretty bad Jax game. The reason they flex Jax jungle is just so Impact could get a better lane than Jax into Renekton, so... I don't think that it's bad for Cassante to take it. I think Cassante is actually probably a better champion with the kill than Jax is in this game. Bro, I forgot that, uh, these grubs even have shields. Because <laughs> they just don't on live. And now everyone else is playing 14-6. You know, we think back last week, had a great early game on the Costa. as Shockwave's going to come back. Oh, Jojo committing the ulti here, staying right on top of APA. Needs a little bit more damage to finish him off. Doesn't quite find it! Oh, oh they're going to type. Jojo. Show what they typed. Show what they typed. Dude, that's just such an ego play, though, from Jojo. That's a crazy ego play. But he's got back up too. Quite single digit health. Yeah, that's tough for Jojo here in the mid lane. He drops the shockwave again on APA. Fudge is coming down. APA. Oh, APA. APA trades one for one. Okay, bro. Okay. Bro, this is actually, I, I love this right now. This is just an ego battle mid. What we fucking needed. They can ult this. Malkai can ult this. I think this is a kill. Yep, there it is. Looks good to me. Looks good to me. Yawn is dead. Wait, they're so pussy, bro. They're so pussy. They're so pussy. They just were sure that Jax was here when he wasn't. Like, Jax is only here now. They could have killed Yawn 100%. There would have been no counterplay, but they were so scared that it was a counter gank. They're in their own heads so much about a counter gank here. Oh, they pussied out, bro. They 
Dude, out for sure. It was like, oh, he was just bought. He could still be here. They're just baiting us. They were so scared. We'll hate on APA. But he makes the game 10 times more fun to watch. Yeah, bro. He's like the heel of the LCS right now. It's important that there's players like that in the league. Oh, so dry. Circle just took the death, bro. He didn't flash. He didn't drop the wave. He just decided to die. He wanted death. Okay, two drakes for C9. <clears throat> I mean, they don't. They don't outscale this game. It's not like they scale horribly either. I mean, they just don't outscale. They're not going to just win this game by stacking drakes and just like winning on a certain item spike. C9 getting his drake because uh, there was no Zyrold and Verisolt was on cooldown as well. So. They were able to just get control, and then it's pretty hard to check into like Maokai here. Dude, like Knights Val on this Kalista. I don't know. It just feels like C9 just doesn't have any items. Like they seem so weak to me. Like looking at this Kalista at 15 minutes, have these items, it just looks sad. Berserker just cleansed nothing for no reason. Wait, did he get ulted? Did I miss something? Did he get like Ferris has ult, bro? Like, what did he cleanse? He just walked up and cleansed for zero? Oh, Umpty. Okay, he flashes away. Jojo dead. Jojo's dead. Where is the rest of the team? Berserker's just not here. Fudge is late. Okay, they have to give Drake. Really big for TL. Storm Surge, Storm Surge is like not an item, bro. I swear, I, I'm convinced that Storm Surge is the worst item in the game. I'm convinced. This item just sucks. I mean, there was just no setup here from C9. Like, wasn't obvious they wanted to contest it. And I guess the call was like... It looks like they really didn't want to contest it because Berserker had no cleanse. So they just... They're, like, afraid to check in. Are they diving Fudge? Oh, Fudge got kidnapped? Oh, good, good, good ulti. Mm, Berserker should keep on hitting, no? I mean, Berserker would have got a lot of damage top because he has, he does have two grubs, which does decent damage. Okay, this seems really sus from Blabber. I don't like this play at all. That was such a sus play. And it's really, I mean, they're trying to stall them because they know Berserker's hitting mid, but it's like, uh, I don't know. Jojo's just dead. Fudge is like gonna kill APA for sure though. APA is dead. 100%. Shutdown. I mean, ends up being one for one in a shutdown to Fudge. It's not the worst. I don't know. I feel like it's just gonna be hard for C9 to win. I feel like it's really like Fudge has to do work in this fight. Okay. I don't hate the angle. Oh, they use so much onto Umpty and they're not going to even kill him. It seems really sus. Oh, Blabber's like all the way in Narnia too. Impact is just flanking and murdering them. Oh my god. Zero damage from the Kalista there, bro. Literally zero damage. No damage from that Kalista. HTP so late. I mean, the fight just wasn't good, to be honest. Like, I don't really blame Fudge for that. I don't think that's a winning fight. Like, they used so much on the Jax. Like, the Jax is essentially one of the tanks here in this comp. The Jax is not a useful champion in this comp. And they used Maokai ult on um, Jax. Then they, like, used the, um, the Renata Q on the Jax as well. Then they they one man oriented on top of that same Jax like that's so much invested into this Jax I mean look at the fight like they're so tr they're so like overly concerned with killing this Jax. As Umpty walks back on the Jax and it's a pretty good Maokai ultimate. You can see they're trying to handshake him back. And then Blabber ends up Wing and going to Narnia. I mean this is like not how you want to fight. Like I feel like you need to be like trying to find multi man ultis with like Renata and Ori. <laughs> Your Ziggs ult zoned out the rest of Cloud9, uh, forcing so much damage onto them. Shot calls on C9. I mean, normally it's just blabber. I mean, I feel like this game is just over, though. I feel like this game is actually just over. I mean, think about it. Like, they're down Drakes. They're, they're starting to... Uh, a TL is starting to stack Infernals. Infernals are really good on their comp. It's very hard for them to be engaged on. Uh, C9 doesn't scale that well. I feel like the Kalista, the Ginsu is going to do nothing, bro. He's not going to be able to kill Frontline ever in this game. Now, does C9 have too big of an ego to ban out the APA Ziggs? That's going to be the question. Because I don't think that APA is like like the reason why C9 is losing. 
question. Hold on. Okay. I feel like he could be the reason why they lose in the future if they ban him out. Yon and APA are not the ones under threat. It's not like you can just force something on to impact. Team Liquid continuing their pressure. Laver not gonna get hit by the piercing arrow. Mega Inferno bomb. It that shit hit, did really no damage. Like I mean, C9 has to pull the trigger with like with fudge flanking. I think that's the only way. He needs to like find like an insane flank. When they step up, he has a TB behind and just send it. Just one shot somebody. Fudge will never carry the. I mean, it's so hard for him to do it though. Like, it's not really like he should realistically carry this game. It's not on him that they lost. I mean, him dying to like the gank top, the early gank was pretty stupid. Like, there's no reason to really die. To that gank, but he's not the reason they lost. I mean, JoJo just like turbo egoed this one. Felt like Berserker also egoed, and I think they just got out drafted. But the thing is, like, I mean, you can you can say it both ways, right? Because in a way, it is kind of Fudge's fault because he's not like super competent on like insane meta counter picks and things like that. It feels like you kind of have to draft Renekton for him, so you don't get much value by like dropping his pick and like blinding for other people. All right, this is where they had to do. But imagine if he had flash here. Just go on Eon there. Okay, nice. There it is. They kind of got it. Jojo's alive. Everyone's dead. They need to peel Jojo, bro. No way, bro. No way. Oh my god. Why did they not peel Jojo here? Fudge went to try to kill Impact instead of peeling Jojo. Well, this was somehow a Jax Pentakill. We just got a Jax Pentakill. Bro, is this like the first Jax Pentakill in the history of LCS? Dude, and you know what's crazy is this is like a horrible Jax game. This is a absolutely terrible Jax game and he just got a Penta. This is like the le This is such a freak occurrence that he got a Penta here, bro. Like, not only is ja are Jax Pentas insanely unlikely in and of themselves, in this game, it's like so impossible this could ever happen. Like, we just saw such a low percentage thing happen. This is like a 0.0001% hit that we just saw. That's crazy. I mean, but that's what C9 needed to do. That's what we were, we were talking about. Like, this game is just... They needed to find some angle to flank when they stepped up. But they did it once when they were already outscaled. And by that point, even the Jax was strong. Do we get the Ziggs ban? Do we drop the Ego and ban Ziggs or no? They ban Ziggs. Holy shit. Nah, they, they lose the series, bro. JoJo's ego is hurt. How can he recover, bro? How can he recover? Is it not just f***ing doomed? Varith Senna. Do we get a little Nautilus here from Vulcan? No. They really don't take... So what are they... Are they going to play their Orin bullshit? Bro, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Are we really just going to go Senna Maokai or Senna Orin? I feel like Senna Nautilus is so OP. Not a huge fan, bro. I'm going to be honest. Not a huge fan of this. TK. I mean, I don't I don't really like Senna TK anymore. I'm going to be honest. I'm not a huge fan. But it is Vulcan. It, to be honest, it, it is Vulcan's one of Vulcan's best champions. So I can see it. I can see it. Yeah, I mean, so originally, I don't really like Tom Kench. But the more I think about it, like, it is actually one of Vulcan's best champions all time. So I like it for C9. After second thought a soul ban okay i like it literally apa is completely banned out what is he gonna play how do you think c9 ross is middle i mean they're not really middle of the pack if they lose their third in an 18 league they could easily still win the series i don't think they're like doomed i'd be down with an oriana here oriana bro are we not just going oriana on four really okay just, i mean this like just thought it sounds terrible this game, I think. They go Hue. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of uh, the Tristana. The APA Tristana. I'm not a huge fan. Not great versus Hue either. I think this is grief. I mean, it's level 3 to level 2. Maybe it's not. Oh, he outplayed him. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, oh, oh. oh. He's sitting level 4? Oh, you Jojo's. Oh, Jojo is. He really That's wants it, man. Fortnite mechanics. Not a fan of this one. I'm, I don't believe in this. Yeah, it seems kind of sus. Does he hit six soon? No, not really. Nah, this is the next wave. Oh. He has a W again. They're fine. This is fake from Umpty. Oh. Oh my god. Oh no. No. That's not Gilius Leeson. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Is he not getting clapped by TL? I think so, bro. Holy Oh, oh my god! It worked! Oh. There's no way that worked. Wow. 
What is called Jaja doing? Okay. Okay. Nice target selection for Berserker. Okay. Dude, we got a game. We got a game. We got a game. We got a game. Early. Ah. Uh, inspired his, his ego bone. Yep. Oh, Jojo is here. Oh, I think they win this. No? Whoa. Kojoji. Is this real? I don't think so. I think Umtij is dead. Isn't Umtij just hinting? Wait, where's the whale? No whale, yeah. Whoa. Oh. Oh, Blabber's level 5. He missed Q. What is he going on, bro? What is going on? Blabber's level 5, bro. Wow. Like Lee missed Q and he was Wait, level 5. Wait, when did Jojo ult? I didn't even know he had an ult. I didn't even see him ult. Had to be some trading shenanigans on Mither, right? But this new TL is so much better. So much better at playing aggressive. They're not even done yet. Yon with the inside route. Yon is making sure he's there on the flank, but now he's got to be careful. Okay, oh, what is going on here? This looks really sus. Jojo time? Berserker's back, bro. They just hit it. Hit the gritty. Lick him. Oh, kick he failed him. the Jojo. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Bro, it's only one swinging. kill though. Dude, it just feels like one of those series where like everything is just going like slightly worse than what is expected for Cloud9. I just ended up being so bad. Oh, Cloud Jaja? Okay. Big, he's just dead. All right. Use a lot of tools though. Yeah. We take it. The win's a win. Knowing what his advantages are. Also, Yeon is dead on my screen. All right. Okay, some DPS. Okay. Right. APA just dead. Oh. Berserker, you gotta tank that, no? Oh, hit that greedy blabber. Hit the Q, baby. Oh, Somebody's gotta hit something besides for Jojo. Oh, they're, they're marinating him. Marination. Oh, they're in the dishwasher. Ooh. Okay, C9. Back on it. That uh, shit is. No one knows about that shit. If it does happen, like streamers are not aware. Oh. Okay. All right. He got some confidence. You don't get away with making mistakes like this with this composition here, man. Yep. These these champs don't scale, bro. Berserk has got 48 suits. Not, not the greatest. Coach JJ oh, he actually the got wall. it. Eclipse. We hit oh, the snapping? Oh, damn. Don't you. Wait, did he have no E? What the hell is this? Fudge? What is Fudge doing? Ooh, food gear. Ibrahim? Vulcan didn't want to eat him. Vulcan had no E. Did he? Did he have E? Oh, honestly, I can't tell what these CDs, bro. Oh my god, they're all dead. Wait, the whole game is just lost? What the hell? Wait, they just literally threw like 3k gold. That's... That was a bunch of shutdowns and everything. I mean, it's just like, I, I think that Fudge has really big champion pool issues as well, so it's just hard. Tomkitch had no ulti in that fight, right? You know, Tomkitch couldn't save him. Jojo now in the side lane. Here we go. Bear ulti turns the turret. Jojo staying alive for now. He felt like Jojo did what he could there, man. Like... I mean, it's actually good for them overall, I guess. I mean, they did have to use the TP, though. Give it to Berserker, bro. I mean, I don't mind him dying for this, though. So, like, I feel like they just like need to like be aware. His team needs to be aware that he is dying for this. I complained about the veggies earlier, but now my fiance oh, big grumbles. Okay, it's all about can, does Vulcan die? Because Vulcan's the one without flash. Oh, just kill nice the back on the kick. Oh, clean from Jojo. Oh, that's a huge shutdown for the way, bro. That's so big for the game. Can somebody cover top or no? I mean, I guess they just go mid turret, they ignore top. Fudge bases and they get Drake. Yeah, it stalls the game. And the shutdown going to Jojo is huge. Wait, what is he building, though? Oh, they're going Baron. They're going Baron. I love this. Okay, yeah, it's a smart. Good Baron. They burned this. They really good Baron. Really good Baron. Yeah, they get this for free. Oh, they're actually not going to show? Oh, I thought Varus was going to run there. Hmm, I don't know about that. Click it. They should kill it. Right? Yeah, yeah, Varus should have ran. Oh, they don't know. Oh, my God. Wait, it looked like they were running. They are just walking on the midway. Holy shit. I guess it was smart from Yon. I thought Yon should have just run to the Baron. I thought, C but I mean, C9 should have been aware of it as well, I think. Okay, Jojo can turn out the wave on bots. Rumbles should buff it. Oh, I don't like this from Blabber. Got eaten. Oh, oh huge from Jojo. Good. Huge from Jojo. Oh. No Zonias. APA is flashing on Blabber. Blabber's dead. Oh, 
Okay. It's not that bad for a C9 though because of the Baron. Like it stalls the Baron. No flash. Oh. Oh no. Eesh. APA should have jumped way earlier. Like he really choked. Yeah. Budge is level 16, bro. He shouldn't. He needs to flash on somebody and just do work. Oh, Q landed Blabberoni. Oh, they're getting cooked. Oh. Korean barbecue. Oh my God. APA Penta. Is that game? Dude, how good is Penta, Impact, Penta, man? Penta. Just dry, he hits those. Oh. Damn. The silver lining is now Berserker's flash. Ooh. Oh, Labyrinth oh, is dead. No. Oh again. my god. He lost his hands there for a second. Oh, the flash in from Food Gay. Oosh. APA with the flash. Damn. Damn, is TL just better? They're just better. Yeah. Looks like three old to be honest. Bro, I think I think also their coaching staff seems way better. Like their drafts are generally so much better than Yeah, than C9. I mean C9s have been pretty bad in general. I mean I've seen as had this issue since last year even though. Yeah, yeah. Wait, he's wait, APA is just going to another international. This man is just gonna no, end up at he's just gonna show up at MSI playing as Knight Chovy. He's gonna be playing as Zika. Maybe everyone just looks insane playing as C9. Oh, well, Fudge made sure that we had no ult here. Let's uh, keep on picking Renekton, guys. I think it's good. The Ziggs again. Is it just unbeatable? Is it picking LeBlanc? You know what the angle is? Joe's just going to end up picking Yone, and they're just going to full send and hard lose. Ooh, why is kind of nasty. Very hard game for Lucian to play this one, honestly. Yes, the karma. Yep. It's a lose in peace angle, boys. This is what you do when you want to just lose in peace. That's a strong 4 5 from TL, man. TL is sharp, dude. All right, what are we drafting here? Is it just an Orn? Bro, please make it an Orin. Please make Time it an Orin. Olaf, bro. We talked Olaf. Oh! There we go. You they, you called it, man. I told you he could play Redacted and Olaf, kind of. This is an Olaf game. This is your moment, Ibrahim. Oh, I th I, Impact is trying to bait right now. Can you bait him for far enough? I feel oh, like Faji. Oh, this would be such a perfect. This would be such a perfect no. way to just like lose everything, you know? Ugh. Whoa, hey, the W oh, start from w. Food Gang. W start, Food Gang. Okay. Hey. gets the honey fruit so he gets to heal up from his little mine adventure. And it's impact this. And spends his time. Even on Lolly Esports, it makes me feel like it's not correct then. Lolly Esports is always wrong. That's what I've learned. Impact with the slice and dice and flash to get away from the binding. Blabber still chasing him underneath. That's an investment right there. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so cooked, bro. It's so cooked. The series is so it's a losing piece, bro. It's a losing piece. It is. Oh, he's all chatting. Look, Apple is all chatting. He's wasting more of Oh. Don't die. Bro, show it. Show the chatting. Well, that's the Olaf right there. Yamato, that's what it looks like. There's been like zero support in science for C9 in this series. Nothing. No lifeline. Nothing. C9. They've got to make sure they're ready, Ooh. man. The Core JJ is already starting off the engage with a crash down into the Magnet Storm, but there's not a lot of mana left on Yawn. Calling from Berserker forces TL back. I mean, that was just all that for cleanse. They're setting up for it. They're actually setting up for the redive because now Berserker doing a four man dive though. All right, they want to go in. Core JJ okay. tries to find the Yankee. Food game. Bro, they're just like I don't know. They're just out confidence. <laughs> And they get TP, like, they're chilling so hard. Sing. Oh, oh Blabber? Really? I mean, Jojo, what's happening with Jojo here? Oh, Impact. That's how you create space. Oh, man. Impact just cut off three people by just looking at them without yeah. using skills. That's a free Drake. We helped the jungler with Drake one time in our lives, though. It's gone. I mean, the dragon's just being taken by. Let Impact do his thing, and everyone else go. A little bit, but I don't really think they have a real way in. They're desperate. They're desperate. They're trying to. Ah, there's no way they can do this. They're so desperate, actually. What is Fudge doing? Ravenous Hydra. What am I watching? I think it's just a complete rundown. Oh, Jojo is really trying. 
this is Plasma. Impact could flash. Oh, he has no flash. Never mind. Oh, oh. Amination. They're desperate. Are you desperate? Okay. Oh, they're so desperate. No. Actually, Olaf is coming, guys. He's gonna carry here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has Ravenous Hydra. Look at him go. Oh, Umpty, where are we, where are we going? Umpty, Papa Umpty. Hey, we gotta go! Right. Let's go! Hey, Impact with the shield. Oh, it's Olaf so squishy. Oh! Oh, that's like a getting like massive throw, but I don't think it does anything. Oh, I'll drag it and spawn it. Oh, get that impact shot down. Come on, C9! Come on! Come on! Oh, let it end tonight. Oh, All right, they just got dry ace because I'm detrolled. <laughs> now one banana has any yellow on it at all. There's always bananas in the banana stand. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, what is Umpty doing? Blabber is that OP? Nope. <laughs> oh, food gear. Oh, berserker. Oh, code JJ. Hey. Hey, wait, is that just soul? That's soul, yeah. Uh. That's how it. That's how we get soul. I mean, yeah, he just like ran into the river. I don't know. This is like where you just hear bullshit in the game. It's just kept up. It's okay if we lost two games and we're getting stopped in the third one, and they just got soul at 23. It's just a kept up. And they they just have to keep on looking for something. Yawn gonna get jumped on here. Oh, they're getting flanked. Oh, Jojo is getting. Oh wait. Oh, they're going berserker. Okay, never mind. Oh, they get both. It's just barren, bro. Is it just an end? Nah, it's Baron. TL, it's a completely different beast, and they want that rematch with FlyQuest, and they want Fudge's head. Wait, what happened to Fudge? I turned away. I thought we were getting Baron. What happened? I didn't look enough. He just ran it down, or what happened? I mean, I'm happy we saved the R5 counter pick though for Fudge. He looks really useful with it. Wait, I like how when Impact plays Redacted, it looks like the most broken champion in the entire game. And when Fudge plays Redacted, it looks like, damn, bro, I guess we just can't win with Redacted, bro. This champion is just impossible to get any type of value with. Fudgy? <laughs> oh. He's fighting for his job. Let's get it, Fudge! And bot, I guess? How can Berserker play this fight, bro? Like, I don't know, bro. He's watching his teammates just run it down. Like, well, well, what should Berserker do? Yeah, I'm so f***ing angry, man. GG! I did, GG! I guess, see, see you in seven hours. Uh, Wait, we're, we're up in seven hours? Oh, God. Holy shit, wait, Umpty made an international tournament. Who cares if he has 30% win rate all time? He's in an international tournament. Take a lifetime 30% win rate player from LCK, pop him in the LCS, insta international splits. That's you're better than this. Let's You're better than this, C9. TL, they're definitely the better team than C9. That's for sure. But I am worried for MSI.